Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we review the match between Liverpool and Tottenham from Anfield. Well, it's Merseyside. Liverpool has won the last three games. If Liverpool wins this game, they can go fifth in the table above Spurs. If Liverpool wants to be in Europe, they need to win all the matches that is left. This could be a possible Europe knockout match for both the teams. If Spurs can nick it, they can consolidate their position and aim for Europe. Liverpool is going with a 4-3-3 formation with Alisson on the goal, Alexander Arnold, Konate, Van Dijk and Robertson the back uh, defence, Fabinho Jones and Elliot in the midfield and Salah, Luis, Dias and Capco ahead for them. For Spurs, it looks like it's going to be a 5-3-2 with Forster in the goal, Romero, Eric Dyer, Ben Davis in the defence with Perisic, Hoiberg, Skip and uh, Kalowiski with Son and Harry Kane ahead. Well, Spurs don't want to repeat what they did against Newcastle. They need a very good start to keep up with the pace of uh, Liverpool in Anfield today. Well, perfect start for Liverpool. Inside three minutes, they are up 1-0, courtesy Curtis Jones. Precision of a cross from Alexander-Arnold. He's got six assists so far. Spurs are at it again. Only second time Jones has scored in Anfield. It's a Jejavu. They won't forget conceding five goals in 20 minutes against Newcastle. Luis Dias scores 203 days since his last start. Luis Dias is back in the goals again. 2-0 inside, 6 minutes for Liverpool. Just 2 minutes between those two goals. Liverpool fans are delighted to have the Colombian backs. Spurs look like a yard of space. A wonderful goal from Diaz to make it uh, a contact and buries into the goal from the pass from Gapco there. It's been a trend. 2-0 down in the last three games, 10 goals conceded in the last uh, th three matches. Spurs has only one win in the last 28 games visited to Anfield. Three points to Liverpool will move them to fifth place. Liverpool is actually finding it so very easy in the midfield. Spurs can't even get close to them. Romero brings down Gapco in the penalty box. Liverpool get the penalty. Salah scores from the penalty. It is 3-0 Liverpool in 15 minutes of the game. Spurs fans walking out already. They've had enough in this match. Spurs needs a miracle to come out of this now. They have been poor defensively. Kane and Son ahead have not had enough touches yet. They're already down 3-0. Liverpool carving through the Spurs defence. Aunt Alexander Aunt makes another very good pass. Gapko unable to find the back of the net this time. Should have been 4-0. Northeast was not good enough for Spurs. Surely we won't get the repeat of the Northwest here. Liverpool with 75% of the possession it clearly shows the way the match is going it's all in Liverpool's way well a good chance again for Liverpool in the 28th minute Kane and Son partnering here Kane passes the ball to Son and that was a surprise to see Kane would have normally gone for the goal by himself clearly indicates the confidence the Spurs team has now Spurs have been in the top four in the FA Cup all those have been washed away so quickly in the last few weeks time we've had Mourinho, Conte all defensively set up coaches Pochettino seems to be the only offensive minded coach they had so far Spurs here have to step up and have a go at Liverpool they might get something out of this game still 18 times Klopp's took on the Spurs has lost uh, only once. Looks like it will be a double over Liverpool this season. Liverpool have not been in the top four all season. A win here will get them on the fifth with four more games to play for again. Alexander Ahn seems to be in the hybrid role again, more in the centre and midfield, giving more options to the Liverpool team and stretching the five-man Spurs defence as well. Liverpool dictating the tempo of the game at the 36 minutes. Hope games have been so very important for them. 12 out of 15 wins have come here from Anfield. Spurs have shown improvement, a wonderful ball here from Skip. Parachute delivers 
the ball to Skin and a wonderful volley to their first goal of the game. It's 3-1 Liverpool, 39th minute. Liverpool has been gone very quiet in the last few minutes. Spurs fans have made their voice heard. Kane has his fifth goal against Liverpool. Another chance for Spurs this time. Kalawiski unable to beat Allison, looking for his first goal in 18 appearances. Liverpool fans have been making their voices heard as well. Very unhappy with Liverpool being very sloppy sometimes. Spurs are beginning to win more of the 50 50 chances. They are showing reliance that they had shown in the draw against Manchester United. Liverpool have been very poor in the last 10 minutes letting Spurs show up again kind of sums up their season as well they're very good when they're good when they're really poor they are really poor two minutes added on to the first half Liverpool trying to exert the control they had in the first 25 minutes of the game and finish off the first half strongly well first half Liverpool began like a train Jones, Diaz, Salah, only blemishes from Spurs with a response. They started with an absolute fire. Three goals up on 15 minutes of the game, then went quiet for a long time, allowing Spurs to make a slow comeback. At halftime, it's 3-1. Spurs made some decent chances. Could have added one more goal. Well, at the break, we are Liverpool 3, Spurs 1. Second half, as it stands, Liverpool are in the fifth place. It is up to them to complete this game and not let Spurs come back. Next goal in this game could be very important. Spurs went out first. Signs that they will come back strongly and not like what they did in the first half. It will be interesting to see if Spurs will take the challenge up to Liverpool, press them unlike what they did in the first half, take the game up to them and make a game out of this and get something out of this. Liverpool playing a back three with Alexander Arnold in the midfield. Liverpool literally playing with five up front offensive players challenging the back five of the Spurs. Kane now with 208 goals in level with Rooney for the all-time leading scorers in the English Premier League. Now looking at Alan Shearer's top time uh, score. A very good move again coming for Spurs in the 53rd minute. Poro with the ball, Kulaweski ball to Son. Extremely unlucky to hit the post again. Romero again with another chance, hitting the post with another improvised uh, shot there. Spurs are doing what Liverpool did to them in the beginning. Spurs should have been 3-0. Definitely momentum is with the Spurs. However, the score still 3-1 in favour of Liverpool. No more player has hit the post this year than the Korean Son. This game has become too open. This is an advantage for Spurs. Liverpool needs to get the control of the game back. Force has not worked for Liverpool. This means uh, reinforcements are needed and Klopp is going to make that right now. Liverpool makes changes. Diego Jotto, Henderson comes in for Diaz and Elliott. Spurs also make changes. Formation looks like it's going to be 5-3-2 again. The kind of brilliant sharpness that we saw in the first half has been missing in the second half for Liverpool. It's been Liverpool trying to come back, though they lead the game 3-1. Spurs continuing with a poor distribution from the back, like they did most of the game, and this was very, very visible throughout the game. Something that Ryan Mason can address if they have to start looking for Europe as an option for the remainder of the season. Nunes comes in for Capco, partner Salo and, uh, and Jodo ahead. Some good work being done on the right side for Spurs. Well, if you take off the first 15 minutes, Spurs have done some good job in this uh, game already. Clearly indicates that they are in the game. However, score still 3-1. Something for Ryan Mason to ponder through. Son gets a wonderful pass, breaks the defense, gets past Allison. It's 3-2 to Tottenham. 76 minutes. 
13 times Spurs have scored late this season. A potential gap that they have found with Alexander Arn playing in the middle of the uh, midfield means a gap for Son to exploit on the right side of uh, Liverpool. Fast Spurs fans roaring now. A potential call for penalty. Spurs are going for it. Getting up Richarlison now, who's waiting to still get his first goal for Spurs. He's leading forward for Brazil, has scored 10 goals in 10 games for them. This will be a good time for him to get his first goal for Spurs as well. They just need one goal here. Match that looked so one-sided has changed so much as we look at the last 10-15 minutes of the game. Liverpool has to see off this match just sensibly, makes another uh, change. This time Curtis Jones going off, James Miller uh, comes in. Klopp would like to see this match off the way it is on the scoreline 3-2. Spurs still showing some great fight, but where it was in the first 15 minutes of the game, we are seeing another good second half like we did against Manchester United with a 2-2 draw. Spurs dominating the game with 70% of the possession compared to first half. The question is what really ha happened in the first 20 minutes for Tottenham? Uh, Final throw of the day is by Ryan Mason by getting in two more of his attacking players. Six added minutes for this game. Liverpool made to sweat late in the game. Should have been an easy 3-0 victory for Liverpool, but not the case. Spurs have made a game out of this. The reflection has changed so much since the first half of the game. Son's free kick here. Richardson header. His first ever goal for Spurs comes in and that makes it 3-3. The former Evertonian silences the Liverpool crowd. Just bounced horribly for Alisson. Credit to Spurs. That's the spirit that they needed. Well, not over yet. Diogo Jota is there. Gets his goal. A fourth for Liverpool. It's 4-3. A big mistake at the wrong time from uh, Lucas Moura. Gets to be a good pass for Jota, who re-establishes uh, Liverpool's lead there. It's been a roller coaster afternoon for Jurgen Klopp. Well, what an afternoon. Liverpool finding their resources in the reverse uh, of, the, of, the, of the game. It's now fifth win in five games. Yet more top Premier League entertaining games. More drama as Liverpool beat Spurs 4-3. Well, now they're in the fifth place, nine of Manchester United. It's typical Liverpool, an incredible performance for Spurs to come back at 3-3, but Jota comes to break their heart to take all three points at 4-3 today. Well, that's it from my side. Please provide your comments on the match and subscribe to my channel for more such reviews. Thank you, until next time.